Unit 13. Hobbies. Part A. Reading. There are a number of things I like to do in my free time. They are my hobbies. The hobby I like most is playing my guitar. My uncle, who is an accomplished guitarist, taught me how to play. Now I can play a few simple tunes. I have even begun to sing while playing the guitar, but I have not been very successful at this. My uncle tells me that all I need to do is practice regularly and I should be able to do it. He is very good at accompanying people singing with his guitar and I admire him very much. Another hobby of mine is keeping fish. I have a modest little glass fish tank where I keep a variety of little fish. Some of them were bought from the shop while some others were collected from the rice field near my house. They look so beautiful swimming about in the tank. I love watching them and my mother loves watching them too. I keep stamps too. However, I would not call myself an avid stamp collector. Actually, I just collect the stamps from discarded envelopes that my relatives and friends give me. Mostly, I get local stamps. Once in a while, I get stamps from places like Russia, the USA, Britain, Australia, China, and others. I keep the less common ones inside a small album. The common ones I usually give away to others, or if no one wants them, I simply throw them away. There are other hobbies that I indulge in for a while, but they are not as interesting as the ones I've been talking about. They really keep me occupied, and I am glad I am able to do them. Task 1 you will hear a student talk about his hobby. Listen to his talk and decide whether the statements are true, T, or false, F. My hobby. My hobby is reading. I read storybooks, magazines, newspapers, and any kind of material that I find interesting. My hobby got started when I was a little boy. I had always wanted my parents to read fairy tales and other stories to me. Soon, they got fed up with having to read to me continually. So as soon as I could, I learned to read. I started with simple ABC books. Soon, I could read simple fairy tales and other stories. Now, I read just about anything that is available. Reading enables me to learn about so many things. I learned about how people lived in bygone days. I learned about the wonders of the world, space travel, human achievements, gigantic whales, tiny viruses, and other fascinating things. The wonderful thing about reading is that I do not have to learn things the very hard way. For example, I, I do not have to catch a disease to know that it can kill me. I know the danger so I can avoid it. Also, I don't have to go deep into the jungle to find out about tigers. I can read all about it in a book. Books provide the reader with so many facts and so much information. They have certainly helped me in my daily life. I am better equipped to cope with living. Otherwise, I would go about ignorantly learning things the hard way. So, I continue to read. Reading is indeed a good hobby. Task 2 
Listen again and write the missing words. Task 1 You will hear a student talk about his hobby. Listen to his talk and decide whether the statements are true, T, or false, F. My hobby. My hobby is reading. I read storybooks, magazines, newspapers, and any kind of material that I find interesting. My hobby got started when I was a little boy. I had always wanted my parents to read fairy tales and other stories to me. Soon, they got fed up with having to read to me continually. So as soon as I could, I learned to read. I started with simple ABC books. Soon I could read simple fairy tales and other stories. Now I read just about anything that is available. Reading enables me to learn about so many things. I learned about how people lived in bygone days. I learned about the wonders of the world, space travel, human achievements, gigantic whales, tiny viruses, and other fascinating things. The wonderful thing about reading is that I do not have to learn things the very hard way. For example, I, I do not have to catch a disease to know that it can kill me. I know the danger so I can avoid it. Also, I don't have to go deep into the jungle to find out about tigers. I can read all about it in a book. Books provide the reader with so many facts and so much information. They have certainly helped me in my daily life. I am better equipped to cope with living. Otherwise, I would go about ignorantly learning things the hard way. So, I continue to read. Reading is indeed a good hobby. Task 2. Listen again and write the missing words. Part E. Language Focus Pronunciation Listen and repeat. Stopped Jumped Stepped Trapped Robbed Stabbed Grabbed Bribed Stops Steps Maps Shops Robs Bribes Rubs Clubs Practice reading aloud these sentences. 1. She was robbed. 2. He stopped smoking. 3. Land dropped the teapot. 4. The boy jumped out into the road and bumped into an old man. 5. She's been to a number of shops and clubs. 6. He rubs his hands because he wants to interrupt their talk. Part E. Language Focus Pronunciation Listen and repeat. Stopped Jumped
stepped, trapped, robbed, stabbed, grabbed, bribed, stops. Steps, maps, shops, robs, bribes, rubs, clubs. Practice reading aloud these sentences. One, she was robbed. Two. He stopped smoking. Three. Land dropped the teapot. Four. The boy jumped out into the road and bumped into an old man. Five. She's been to a number of shops and clubs. Six. He rubs his hands because he wants to interrupt their talk.